Look what I got! A mystical package from the United States of Artistica. Hello guys, my name is Doak and I know what's inside of this package. And some of you know that too, but some of you don't, so let's reveal it. Hell yeah. The unthinkable became truth. Aren't you beautiful? One million subscribers. Look at this. The milestone that I reached uh, last year, but still. <sighs> It means a lot to me, so please let me say one more time, big thank you. However, I am aware that some of you are disappointed at this moment because you expected something else. Don't you worry. So, this is what you been waiting for and here we go the painting from 1000 and slu you're still not getting it let me explain So this project is basically one huge collaboration of artistic YouTubers started by an artist with a name 1000 Long story short, this canvas travels from one artistic YouTuber to another one and each artist creates a painting on the canvas. And once the canvas feels finished, it goes back to 1000 who's gonna auction it and the money from the canvas will go to a charity. I am the third artist in a row. I got the canvas from Slu. And the question right now is, what am I gonna do with it? The first idea that I got was that I'm going to burn the canvas. This would be bloody original. Yeah, but then, then I gave up on this idea. I figured that it would be too original. Instead of burning, I decided to continue with the story of this canvas. So far, the story that I see here is that the character is an artist, probably a YouTuber as well. She probably has a lot of art supplies in that tiny backpack. And she also has a custom jacket with her name on it, Ten Han. Yeah, that might be a girl too. But then there is the sword, and especially the hats, and fire. The way I see this part is that these are hats of the haters. Hell yeah, these are the hats of the haters of this beautiful artist who crushed them and right now they are burning in hell. Great! The question is how do I embrace this idea? And thinking about this makes me really uncomfortable, to be honest. You guessed it. I'm having a little artistic crisis. But besides that, what's typical for me? Well, I would say a graffiti piece which says Doke. But how the hell that helps the story of this canvas? I got it. I will do letters, but I won't write Doak, for God's sake. And before I start the sketching process on my beautiful tablet, and no, it's not iPad, it's Microsoft Surface Pro, because I'm different than the others. Let me remind you that at the end of this video, I will be sending this canvas to another artist. And so I thought that during the process, during the painting process, we might take a look at all the YouTube art creators that I watch or know. So you actually know uh, who are the candidates for this bad boy. 
Alrighty. I didn't do any specific research on this. I will share with you just the names of YouTubers, art YouTubers, who pop up in my head. But to make this a little bit more clear, I created a certain categories of art YouTubers. So let's begin. The number one name on my list is the pioneer, the mystical father of all art YouTubers, Jazza. He might not have the highest numbers at the moment, but I certainly see him as, as the pioneer. That sounds just right. The second king of the artistic YouTube is the guy with the highest numbers, with most views, the guy who made it, ZHC. His content mainly consists of crazy custom videos and funny fact is that just a few years ago my content used to consist of the same stuff. Hell yeah, the holy custom iPhone from 2017 is still the best video on my channel with 8.3 million views. But yeah, eventually I stopped with the customs and right now ZHC is on the top of the hill and I am I am in the base camp, numbers wise. But anyways, I was not the only one doing custom stuff back then and so everything is just as it's supposed to be. I'm having a strong feeling that I'm slowly turning this character into a Godzilla. Right after the kings of the realm are coming the doodle guys, who are also really successful. Number one, Vex. In my opinion, one of the best art YouTubers out there and also one of my greatest uh, YouTube inspirations. And also the first artist on my list who I actually consider a friend. I hope that we will do that collab that we are planning for years. I hope that we will do it soon. <laughs> the second Google guy did I say Google? Doodle? Whatever. It's Gox, the best video maker on the platform. I mean, between the artists. I remember that he was pretty small, numbers wise, just a few years ago, but he made it and he made it fast. And I believe that his videos are the best in terms of filmmaking. Another category, girls. Power, Draw with Waffles, Casey Golden, Lavender Town, Super Rhea, Dizzle, Jizzle, Sizzle, doesn't matter. All of them are doing awesome and I know that there is, uh, there are more girls on the scene. I wish I could say the same about the graffiti and street art scene though. Anyways, I see all these people that I mentioned until this point as something like a mainstream of art YouTube. And right now, we are getting to my category. To the category that, in my opinion, feels a bit distant from the people that I already talked about. Let's call this street art slash graffiti category. I will start with sort of orthodox graffiti guys, where the number one is the OG of graffiti YouTube, Ghost Ia. We had some problems in the past, but anyways, when I was starting, he was already here, he was doing great, and he is still present until today. Number two, Rake43, the first artist who I actually painted with, we painted three walls in three days together. I think that you have definitely seen at least one of his GoPro videos. Number three, Tag Machine. To be honest, I don't know much about this guy. He's pretty new on the platform, but if you are someone who's looking for true illegal graffiti, he's your guy. And number four, Graffiti Block from Germany. If you are looking for some helpful tips about graffiti, he's the guy for you. We actually supposed to paint with each other, but then Corona happened. And right now, finally, we are getting to my territory, to the street artists, where the number one is Smo. Yeah, 
who's angry right now because I didn't involve him in the graffiti group. Well, let's just say that the graffiti guys and street art guys are sort of a mixed bag. But yeah, I believe that most of you know Smo. He's my best uh, artistic friend, my best YouTube friend. He taught me a lot. And in my opinion, on this whole list, he is the guy with the most skill. Number two in this category is another friend of mine who paints some badass murals. We painted two walls together in Los Angeles and his name is, you know that, Kipto. Yeah, man, I hope that the number of our collaborations will uh, keep growing after these strange times. Number three, the father of this whole project that I'm doing right now, 100. He's another great mural slash traditional uh, digital slash canvas, uh, you know, I mean, overall artist. <laughs> and at number four comes the guy who actually sent me the canvas, Slu. I know him for a long time. I remember him as a graffiti artist, but recently he is more focused on oil painting and painting portraits. And I really like his portraits. And last but not least, me! Yay! I won't describe myself, I think that's sort of your job, but I at least hope that I've put myself into the right category. Yay! how I see the realm of art YouTubers. And I'm feeling like I definitely forgot someone important or even some important category of artists. So please remind me in the comments below, okay? Your favorite creators, your favorite YouTubers. But anyways, I have a one bonus category for you. The guys who taught me a lot, they are doing sort of uh, educational artistic content and it is Proko, I'm sure you know him, and Marco Bucci. He's excellent. Perfect, perfect videos. I learned a lot from them. Anyways, uh, ah, I'm done, finally. During the process, you probably noticed that the word that I painted is respect. The reason for this is that, as I told you in the beginning, I see this character as an artist with a bunch of haters on his sword. Some of us might love what that guy does and be jealous of the other guy. And you know how it goes in music, in every artistic field. But there is this one important thing, respect. We should all have respect for each other. You might not like somebody, but you should respect him. And yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say with this respect piece. So first of all, this is it. What do you think about the canvas? Do you like it? Yes? No? Maybe? Thumb up would be awesome if you do. And right now, you wanna know who's the next artist, right? Well... Boom! And the canvas will go to Germany! Thanks a lot, Doke, for choosing me as your first choice for receiving the canvas. I will do my very best. It's a big honor to be in a row with so big YouTubers. Thanks a lot! Smo, Smo Nova is gonna get this canvas right. 
right now. I'm really curious what he's gonna do with the canvas. I believe we are done here. It's Smo's turn now. So subscribe to his channel and get ready. Thanks for watching. The mystical father of oral of all the little Kokosento focus. Manually focus out. We might take bah! We might take a look for We might take a look at